In my last video, I showed how to map a virtual drive identifier, such as E, onto an actual physical drive. Say you've got a, a drive called D, or onto a subdirectory. And that's quite useful when you want to transfer files, for example, or projects that are required by certain software. I was using DaVinci Resolve, and it had the paths hardwired into its uh, database, so it needed a particular path, and I just used a command called subst to recreate that path as a virtual drive. So see the last video if you want uh, an example of that. The problem was that that didn't persist when I reloaded my, when I rebooted my PC, that was lost. So what I want to do is to have that command executed every time, automatically, every time I boot my PC. So I'll show you how to do that now. So first of all, I've got notepad. This is the command that I wanted to enter. Uh, you could enter any sorts of system commands into this sort of file. I'm going to save it as a batch file. So I do file, save as. I need to give it the uh, direct, the extension um, .bat. So let me save it into, so I'm just going to save it into any local directory for now. Uh, this is my hue directory. Now I want to copy that into a special startup directory. Windows maintains a startup directory that will contain files or programs that are run whenever the, win the Windows system boots. How do I find that? Well, it's not that easy. It's one of these long-winded directory path, name, path names, but there is a simple way to find it. If I right-click the Windows icon here and select Run, and then I can enter this command, shell colon startup, and that will locate the startup folder. There it is. So I now need to copy the batch file that I just created. I simply need to copy that into the startup directory. So that's now in my startup directory. Now, I should say at this point, if you're reasonably technical, you can, of course, assign drive letters, a different drive letter to a drive if you wanted to change the D drive into the E drive, or you could repartition your disk. That is a solution to this sort of problem, but it can cause more problems than it solves. In fact, uh, if some other software requires a certain path, and I tried that earlier, for example, and my PC crashed, and I, I think maybe the virus software didn't like it. So that's why I've adopted this, this more manageable, um, lightweight solution to this problem. But in any case, you can use the same solution for any batch commands that you want to run on startup. And now when I reboot my PC, I will have that virtual drive mapped. I'm Hugh, this is the Code with Hugh channel. As always, there are lots of videos. I'm trying to put up lots of videos every week. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video.